Oh, I watched 24. Jack is having a bad day. Or Prime Suspect with Helen Mirren, who is an incredible actress. I try to escape into cinema, westerns, thrillers. I even read them on the road. So I basically put everything at hand's length, now even more. And I try very hard not to enter a real world, but try to enter a fantasy world where I can say, oh, that doesn't, that doesn't really exist, or that's not really happening. Or that the characters that I'm watching on a screen or something are so strong that I, I want to rise to the occasion the next time out to be that strong in control of my convictions. Uh, first time a mother, so I have a, a little boy, five years old now, that is waiting for me at home. So as soon as I'm home, I have another job that is uh, taking a lot of attention and uh, energy as well. And actually, in my life of photographer, it has been something very important to have a family life. First, because it keeps me together in a very powerful way and uh, it's always uh, taking me back in a, a reality, a, I would say a good reality, I mean a, a reality full of life. And sometimes when I come back from some countries like in Congo where the life and the story of people was really very touching me very much because uh, that, uh, their life is so far away from what we have and so many stories are very dramatic. Well, what I have at home is really giving me energy. It's, it's afterwards. For me, the, the, the problem comes when I'm in the, in the dark room. That's when I have the, the, the first uh, kind of wave, if you like, um, because I, I obviously spend a lot of time. You know, when I get back from somewhere, it's, you know, I spend the first sort of two or three days processing and editing and. And then it's hours in a in a dark room, and it really allows you to focus your thoughts um, and to revisit, if you like, um, go back, uh, bring things up to the surface, and um, that is uh, has been. Sometimes it's a great experience. One, it's usually a good experience, but it it, would, it affects you in different ways, and. Uh, um, for me, the most disturbing, uh, the, the things that are the most difficult to live with, I think, are where you know you are perhaps the sole witness to something. And then there is not only uh, that responsibility to the people, but the, the weight, it's a, it's a, 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 a privilege and, and a huge burden of responsibility at the same time. So. With that on, on, on top of it, it yes, I've, sometimes it can be very draining. Um, and, and that's one of the reasons, perhaps not something, uh, it's not the reason, but it affects obviously uh, how I work, what I do. Therefore, I don't, I don't do a lot of work. It's a very slow, it's a very s slow process. I mean, it, it takes that time. And I think I need that time when I come back from somewhere, especially, uh, but, you know, when, you, when you've been affected uh, emotionally, I need that time to live with the pictures, go back, sort of clear it out, and also to understand what it is that I've just seen, and uh, try and make sense of it. Uh. It's very interesting. For, for me, it's very easy to leave home, and it's equally easy to come back. Uh, I adjust immediately. Uh, I think it has to do with the fact that um, if you know why you're doing this job, and, and who you are, I mean, as a person. That means that you know how to interact with the situations you, you're uh, witnessing and, and what, is, what they do to you. Once all of that is clear, it, it, it's actually very easy to, to, to come home and, and go to a restaurant and see a lot of people not caring about anything but themselves. Um, it might be a little bit shocking, but at the same time, uh, I'm happy to see that some people live happily and, and don't care about, you know, uh, bad things. Even though I'm trying to show these bad things or these difficult things and these dramas. Uh, I'm also equally happy to see people living happily. Uh, 
I am not a Western photographer or a photographer from outside my culture. I very much work within my culture. I understand it. There is a lot of uh, horrors that one grows up with. So the transition of being there and being back home is much less. However, you know, they, it's, you cannot deny the fact that on a young mind as you are going through whether natural disaster, man-made disaster, uh, political strife, uh, war, uh, you see suffering and that suffering somewhere has an impact on you. It may be a slower impact uh, but it does def definitely have an impact and over the years uh, it does uh, affect you. I don't know what's going to happen if I'm ever going to stop but uh, I just uh, it's not that I don't have the time it's just that my mind is still you know the mili uh, people that do this job professionally um, of analyzing effects of war on on, on people that uh, have experienced it, the post-traumatic stress disorder and all of that, uh, have been always say that uh, when you go from a place to, to a totally different situation in the West made of comfort and security, it takes time. You know, your body travels very quickly, but your mind, your head is still in that place. So in order for your head to, to reach your body, it takes time. And when my head reaches my body, I'm already somewhere else. So I guess my head is always following. I don't know, but uh, uh, I'm doing well. I mean, I have a few problems, but uh, it's, uh, I have a great mother and she's a very good friend of mine and I have very good friends that are supportive and I have the luck and fortune to have amazing friends that are in the industry, photojournalists, uh, women and, and men, that uh, I can share my experience with. And that helps. It does. But at the end of the day, we're, we're still alone. And um, it's, we have to deal with it. And someday we will have to deal with it more than now.